Hello and welcome. This is an introduction video for my new 2D Endless Runner series. And throughout the series, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple 2D Endless Runner game that is controlled by tapping on the screen. If you want to get all the project files for Unity and all the assets that I've been using throughout the whole tutorial series, you can find the link in the description that will take you to a page where you can figure out how to acquire them. You can also follow the same link if you just want to try out the game in your browser or if you want to download it on Google Play and try it out on your Android device. And it will actually mean a lot to me if you would go and download it on Google Play and then rate the game um, on, on Google Play as well. So now I'd like to take a closer look at the different things that we will be implementing throughout this game. And I'll try to play the game and show you how it is while I'm talking. So I'm kind of bad at the game, so I might die a lot of times, but I'll do my best to be able to show off what we are going to implement here. So the first thing you see when you enter the game from the menu is a start screen with a simple instruction that shows you you need to tap on the screen to make the dragon fly upwards. And of course, when I tap on the screen, the game will start. In the top right corner, we have a way of uh, muting the game and unmuting the game. That's very simple. Um, there are some very basic sounds for jumping and for um, hitting stuff and collecting diamonds. Because we will also be collecting some diamonds or gems, as you can see up here. And those gems are different colors. When you have played a game, these gems will count up as the actual score you have if you have three black and three blue you will get a total score of six but the reason for these different colored ge gems is the fact that you can use them to buy stuff in the shop which i'll also show in a minute but let's try if i click on the screen every time i click the dragon will fly upwards and when i collect the diamond i'll get one score here and of course i can't hit anything if i hit something i die i'm just going to mute the game just to uh, remove the annoying sounds so you can see i have collected one purple, one red, and one blue. So my total score is now free and the high score is free. And the high score is of course saved. So I have added another option here, which is something that you will also learn how to implement. This is reward ads, which means you can play an ad for a user. And if the user watches the ad from start to end, he will get a reward. In this case, I've chosen that the player will get 10 random gems. Um, so he will get 10 green, 10 black, or 10 blue or something when we watch the ad. Let's try. So I click watch the ad button. It will show an ad. This is just um, for development right now. So of course I'm not showing a, a, a real ad. But when the ad is finished and closes down, if the user stuck through it without closing the game, he will receive a reward. In this case, we received 10 red gems. As you can see, now we have 11. It doesn't count to our total score or our high score. This is just something you can use in the shop. So when you're dead, you can restart the game, it starts over, and you can play the game again, as you can see. And there we go, and now I died again, and restart. So as you can see, there are different kinds of obstacles. Um, all these obstacles um, are something that we will create manually, but we, they will be placed at random throughout the level. Um, I think I am creating nine different obstacles or something, I'm not sure. Um, but of course, when you're done with this, you should be able to create your own obstacle, come up with your own ideas. And of course, we're making sure that you can clear one obstacle from another. I mean, so that we, we make sure that there is no impossible path so that this tree wouldn't be right be after this uh, gate here. So that you would die no matter what. There's always a chance for us to be able to clear the game. We have I have tested that. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but we have like kind of parallax background scrolling. There are some clouds. The clouds are going over the, uh, the sky. We have the mountains and the trees in the background that are also moving at another speed. And in the bottom, we have our, um, our grass that is also moving uh, at another speed. So we have some scrolling background. And of course, the background is infinite. Um, the game can run on, keep running forever. Um, it will just keep regenerating new obstacles for us. It will keep um, generating new um, ground force, new clouds, new backgrounds, so there's an infinite background, of course. Yeah, and of course the obstacle generation is random, it's not the same every time you play the game. Every time you play the game, it generates a new path, these obstacles, so that, um, yeah, so that everything's random. Um, besides that, we have saving and loading. Um, you might have noticed my gems up here are resetting, but all the gems that I have collected throughout the game um, will also be in my shop. So these gems just show what you have this run but if I go out and show the shop you'll see that all the gems that I've collected 
are actually still saved and of course I can stop the game and play it again and the gems are still there okay. so this is the shop I just want to show you that um, we can unlock stuff that are savable it, right now we have the red jet dragon that's the standard dragon when we play the game the red dragon is there um, then we have some other dragons blue we have green which I can purchase because I have 13 green ones and there's purple and then there's a black one so we have to collect it says here 1000 for the black one that's a mistake it should be 10 um, it's just because I, I forgot to change the number here but because in the original game wh when the game is released uh, on the release on Google Play you need 1000 diamonds to unlock something um, but just for showing you guys, I didn't want to play to a thousand diamonds. Just for showing you guys, you can unlock stuff. I changed it to ten. So now we just need ten green gems. But in in uh, in reality, we need one thousand. So I have the green dragon. I would like to unlock him, so I purchase him. I use free. Uh, I have used ten gems for that. Do that. And then I'm able to click the use button to use it. I just purchased it right now. I I haven't used it because right now the red dragon is in use. So I can just click on the green dragon to make it in use and then I can close the menu or close the shop and open up the game and then you'll see now I'm playing as the green dragon instead you can see right there now I died um, so that's basically what we will be implementing if you have any suggestions any suggestions at all then feel free to leave them in the com comment section because then I might just implement it before the game is totally finished so if you see something that is missing something that should be in a game like this or something you, f you feel like at least that should be in a game like this then please let me know because then uh, we I'll do my best to implement it so that's the introduction to my endless runner I hope that you find it interesting and please don't forget to go to the link in the description below and try out the game in the browser or on Google Play Thanks for watching my video, please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.